There's been two data-related actions in recent days that highlight how we all need to be involved in national security. The first is President Biden's executive order that prevents the large-scale transfer of Americans' personal data to countries of concern. That includes Russia, China, Iran, Venezuela, Cuba, and North Korea. So that is a good example of a productive step that government can take to protect our data from being weaponized by our adversaries. The second is bipartisan legislation that was introduced in the House to protect Americans from foreign adversary-controlled applications, including TikTok. TikTok is owned by ByteDance. It's a Chinese company, which means it's required by law to collaborate with the Chinese Communist Party, who can then use TikTok users' information against them. We implore ByteDance to sell TikTok. Here's an example of where you don't need to wait for an executive order. You don't need to wait for legislation to pass. In fact, we can protect our own personal data security, and we can protect our national security by just not being on TikTok. My point is this. There is a role that government can and should play to protect our data, and more broadly, critical technology. But in some cases, we don't need to wait for government. In some cases, the good news is we have the power to take ownership of our own personal data security and our national security. And when government and when tech companies and when we as citizen leaders are working together, we can make sure that we're winning the competition against our adversaries in technology and that ultimately technology advances freedom.